Hello world, Krista here from Books and Jams and today I'm going to do a bit of a birthday haul. My birthday was just a couple weeks ago at the beginning of July and I received a few books and bookish items that I'm going to share with you today. And I'm not sure what's going on with this lovely piece of hair. It is super humid here today and it does not want to, there we go, stay, it does not want to stay down. But anyways, um, let's just get right into it. I have six or seven books to share with you today. Um, my brother is currently living in Turkey. He was home for a visit at the beginning of July because we have a large family reunion. So he came home for that and he brought me a book by a Turkish author. So I have no idea how to say that. Ahmet Umit. Ahmet Umit. Translated by Elke Dixon and this is called The Dervish Gate. And apparently Ahmet Umit is a popular author in Turkey. And so it's a thriller mystery. But I'm excited because I've never that I know I've read anything that is set in Turkey or from a Turkish author. So I'm excited to take a look at this. I was super blessed because on my birthday, actually on the day, my friends threw me a surprise party and totally had me. I didn't know it was coming at all. In order to get me to the house where the party was, uh, another friend, one of my friends offered to take me to Barnes and Noble and buy me a book. So I'm not going to say no to that. And so I picked out at Barnes and Noble Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi, Ngozi Adichie. Again, foreign authors and I am really bad with pronunciation. But this book is about a Nigerian family. They move west to the Western culture from, from Africa and the struggles of that and immigrating and I know that Lauren from Lauren in the Books loves this book. It's one of her favorites and she talks about it all the time. And so it got me my curiosity going and I wanted to take a look at it. So now I own it. Happy birthday to me. Another friend of mine bought me this super cute necklace. It's a silver necklace and it says book nerd. That's me. So that's kind of fun. It may become a decoration on my bookshelf or I might wear it. I can wear it on this side, which is just plain silver, but pretty, or the book nerd side. But I love it and I'm very thankful for that. She also, that same friend, bought me a journal, which I'm excited for because as I do booktube more and more, one of the harder things for me is talking about the books that I read. I am very much an emotional reader and not especially critical, so this will help me to write some um, thoughts as I'm reading or as I'm as soon as I finish books um, I'm I tend to be more of a paper and pencil person maybe that's showing my age but I uh, appreciate this very much and I think it will help me to be more clear and concise as I give reviews and continue with this channel so thank you Lisa for this one Lisa also accidentally bought two copies of the Raven Boys so she gave me one and this is one of those series that I'm not sure I'm gonna read. I have a little bit of interest because it's so massively hyped on booktube so I'm curious but I also don't really like paranormal. Um, I'm not huge into fantasy so I'm not sure I'm gonna like it but I have the first one now so I will give it a try. The final bookish item that I got for my birthday is um, pretty interesting. It's from my friend Terry and it's by Susan Branch. Terry was telling me that um, Susan Branch writes cookbooks typically, and this one is a fine romance, falling in love with the English countryside, which I have done. I have a lot of really fun memories from a lot of beautiful places that I got to see. So this book is almost written like a journal. So there's pictures, there are maps, oh, there's a card. Um, there's thoughts, there's just a lot of things. Recipes are in here. Um, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun and it is going to make me want to go back to England again. It's been so long, um, but I'm excited to read through this. It looks very interesting. So I've heard her cookbooks are written in a similar way with a lot of stories and anecdotes in amongst all the recipes. So this is kind of a flip of that, mostly story and anecdote or story and pictures with a few recipes thrown in there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give this a try, something different, kind of fun. I should have done this during the readathon next week, but... I already have my GBR for that, which you can check out below. I'll link it. Um, but this looks like it'll be an interesting read. So there you have it. That's some of my bookish birthday gifts that I received. And I'm very thankful. It was a beautiful day, really special, made me feel really loved. And I'm so thankful for all my friends. And I'm looking forward to taking a look at all of these 
items, books, things in the next few weeks slash months slash who knows how long. But thanks for watching and I do have more books. Unfortunately, I have a problem called buying books um, without time to read them all. So uh, you'll be seeing another haul before the end of the month. But that's it for today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.